Today, we're going to go into a returning player guide to Dokkan, the eighth year anniversary is going on in global. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my tips for the returning players that are coming back to the game. So the first tip I have for you guys is logging in every day for the returning player bonus rewards. You get a set amount of tickets to summon on a ticket banner for returning players, as well as the Dragonstone rewards. And I'm pretty sure there's also some other rewards. I don't completely remember, but you get tickets to summon on a banner as well as a set amount of login days to get some pretty all right rewards so uh, that is going to be my first tip login in every day it's super simple easy to get done you want to log in every day get those returning player bonus rewards and that's going to be the first tip the second tip is going to be doing your daily growth missions guys this is completely pivotal to your account you want to get these done especially during a big celebration like the eighth year anniversary this is super 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 important doing all of your hidden potential events to get these uh, orbs that you need to put potential into your units very important going ahead and doing your master roshi event every day for a greater chance at link level as well as zenny and training items very important Big Bucks Hercule event. Of course, that got reworked to give you more Zenny. Even though I would argue that doing easy A's is much more efficient to getting Zenny, it's still something, right? For those who can't farm easy A's, they can farm the Big Bucks Hercule event. But you guys get exactly where I'm coming from. You want to do your daily growth missions to buff up your account for the long term because your account is going to look so much more efficient and much more powerful provided you farm these growth missions daily. These are so important for you to get done so that's going to be my second tip do your daily growth missions they are very very important to your account the third tip i have is farm dragon stones sparingly unless you are a a pay-to-play player of course this tip doesn't apply to you or b you basically farmed everything out in the game so this tip also wouldn't apply to you because you would have to wait for new content to come back this is for players who have not completely finished quests, that have not done all their easy A's, that have not completed all their story events, and have not completed all difficult content, i.e. Super Bad Road. You want to go ahead and do all of this content at your own time. There's no need to rush because trust me, once you burn through all that stuff, you're either paying for stones or you got to wait for new content to come out. So that's going to be my third tip specifically for people who have not completely farmed out their account farm for dragon stones sparingly trust me quest is going to be your best friend it really is consider that your gold mine for dragon stones now the fourth tip is going to be use your stones on valuable banners technically this doesn't apply for pay to play players but mainly for free to play players using your stones on valuable banners is super super important all these tips i just gave are like general tips but they're very helpful tips for returning players or basically all players as a whole so let's go ahead and take a look at these banners i think it's easier to just go ahead and go on over to the right coin shop and showcase the units like what we have for these banners like we have both the gammas very powerful units you have lr <laughs> you have lr final form cooler an amazing spectacular unit i mean lr of course the metal cooler movie goku and vegeta they could have definitely been better, but there's still a unit that's usable somewhere. As well as, of course, both the seven years being here. You have uh, LRUI Goku and LREB. You can definitely use them somewhere. And you have both the fifth years who are going to get easy A's who are super powerful. Nonetheless, not specifically talking about good and meta content or off meta content. You take a look at this banner. Like, this banner is ridiculous. You see a banner like this. You want to summon. You want to summon. Two banners off the top of my head that come to mind that are super valuable is uh, the uh, anniversary banners and the worldwide download celebration banners. For sure. You want to summon on banners like this. You have, of course, the new unit, that being the eighth year Z Boys. You have Gamma One on the banner. You have the LR Gods on the banner. And, of course, you have LR Final Form Cool. This banner is just magnifico this is very spectacular and of course as well as the second banner the lrgt boys you have gamma 2 who's amazing the meta cooler movie boys of course they're all right and i mean eh, they're all right we're just gonna say they're all right just for the sake of the video as well as the the lr i mean come on now guys this banner is 
This is good, as well as the LR, of course, Super Saiyan 4s. This is the banners you really, really want to summon on, guys. So that's going to be my fourth tip, using your stones on valuable banners. You do not want to use your stones on, like, for example, I guess this. This could, this would just be the example. You don't want to use your stones as a free-to-play player to summon on an Elder Kai banner. You return to the game, you got stones to use. What the fuck are you using it on this banner for? For Kai's? Guys, it's the 8th year anniversary. They're giving out Kai's like candy. There is absolutely zero reason you should be summoning on a Kai banner, of course, unless you're a pay-to-play player. So, that is going to be my fourth tip, repeating myself. Use your stones on valuable banners exclusively, i.e. the 8th year anniversary banners. Now, the fifth tip I have for you guys is... Awaken slash use your resources on your best cards first and your worst cards last. I've, uh, I think I basically beat a dead horse saying it last video. Using your re resources, excuse me, use your resources and awakening these units, the best cards first rather than your worst cards uh, first is clearly important. Like, for example, let me just go ahead and use an example for somebody on uh, not on the banner let me actually uh who can i use as, a, as an example uh let's just use physical dragon with super broly as an example right let's say that we want to awaken this guy first you have him as an ssr you want to awaken him first compared to transforming frieza because transforming frieza is nowhere near the realm of physical dragon with super broly let's just be completely honest so yes you want to get the better unit out the way over the lesser unit save those uh, lesser units slash worse units the worst unit on the back burner for like leisure time and you want to go ahead and get a unit that'll give you some much more like valuability if that's a word you want a unit that'll give you uh, a lot of value like this physical dragon Mosu bro who help you in world tournament battle road dokkan battlefield so on and so forth red zone if you want to go ahead and bring them in there but yes awakening and using your resources resource management is one of the most underrated like tips i don't see anybody give I, I don't i don't see this i don't see these tips like for past videos i've seen i can't specifically remember but for past beginner guides i've seen while i was first getting into dokkan i saw like, a couple of beginner guides i wasn't seeing anybody saying manage your resources uh, very smartly you gotta be very smart with your resources. Awaken slash use your resources on your best cards and leave the worst ones for last. That is my fifth tip for the video. And of course, my sixth and last tip is using your currency to collect the best possible resources in the exchange tab. Now you're gonna go ahead and click on the exchange tab. Well, not click. Well, if you're on blue stacks, it's click, but if you're on the phone, you just tap. So you're going to tap the exchange tab. You're going to go ahead and go on over to, of course, we're in the anniversary. You're going to go on over to the eighth year anniversary coin. And you're going to want to go ahead and, for example, pick up these Kais. Because these Kais are going to go ahead and uh, give you a bit of a help for giving, of course, give you in a super attack level. It's going to help you boost your, it's going to give you super attack level. For example, these will run you a longer way than, for example, let's see, what, what will not help you? For example, it would have to probably be, oh, meats are in here. That's pretty good. Like Zenny. You don't want to buy Zenny. Don't. Do not buy Zenny with your anniversary coins. You are wasting your anniversary coins. It makes literally zero sense. You have easy A's you can farm. And if you're not strong enough to farm easy A's, go over to the Big Bucks Hercule event, which I'll go ahead and showcase on screen right now. You want to farm this event and get as much zenny as humanly possible zenny is so goddamn easy to farm you're on global more specifically well on jp2 you go straight to this event if you do not have a, enough powerful units to farm easy a's so that is going to be my last tip is using your currency to collect the best possible resources in the exchange tab so to go through all tips one more time the first tip log in every day for the returning player bonus rewards of course for those tickets or stones to be able to summon on the little returning player ticket banner not really the craziest banner but hey it's a free unit nonetheless as well as uh, doing your daily growth missions I would argue the most important 
tip on this entire list is resource management. Use your resources sparingly and of course, waking your best units first and your worst units last. My next tip, of course, is farming your Dragonstone sparingly. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't account for pay to play players. If you're a pay to play player. You don't, you don't have to listen to that part. If you're a free to play player, farm your Dragonstone sparingly for specifically quest, easy A's, story events. Of course, you're going to go ahead and want to get those easy A's out the way. But the main thing is that farming sparingly is very important. And do remember that quest is your best friend when it comes to using it as a bank. Think of quest as, uh, I don't know, Chase Bank. You want to go ahead and you want to keep your savings there. Your quest is your saving stones. Unless you want to go ahead and farm for LR Vegito Blue, but that's something for another time. My next tip, of course, is using your stones on valuable banners. Of course, doesn't apply to pay to play players because they're obviously going to be buying stones. But the example is the Aether banners, which, of course, is easily the most valuable banners that Global are seeing this year. And the next tip, awakening slash using your resources on your best cards first and your worst cards last. Resource management, very important. And the last tip is using your currency to buy the best possible resources in the exchange tab. I mean, <laughs> I said that completely weird, but you guys get exactly what I mean. The exchange tab. So uh, let's go ahead and go on over to the coins. Like, for example, you want the Kai's. You do not want the Zenny. Do not burn your coins on the Zenny. I think that is really about it. So long as you go ahead and do the tips that I listed off in the video, you can be completely A-OK. -okay. I think that is really all there is to say, right? I said that already? <laughs> Appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next video. I love you all. Shout out to my brother for this idea. Peace.